Cathedral. Welcome back to another week of CCTV. I guess it's Trick Shot Friday. We're gonna go straight to Mrs. Lopez to hear some updates. Hey Dons, it's Miss Lopez. One way we're hoping to all stay connected um, to our faith and to each other is through our new CCHS Mission and Ministry Instagram account. On that account, we'll be posting um, cool pictures of things we've done this year and are still doing, and also some student and teacher highlights of ways that you are keeping your faith alive, experiencing joy, um, and praying while at home. We'll also share some resources and ways to pray, um, accounts to follow, apps to download, things like that. So we hope that you will follow and join along on this journey together. Thanks, Mrs. Wells. Hi, it's Mr. Hurt here from my backyard. Um, since most of our service trips uh, have been either postponed or canceled, you may be thinking to yourself, well, I can't do service. That's not true. Service really uh, begins at home and you can do things around the house. This is a chance to take all that service that we've done during school and to, and to do it at home. So you can do things like do the dishes, help clean around the house, um, or as uh, I promised my wife I would do, I'd help out in the backyard. So I've got to start digging a hole. But first I need to get a shovel. Let's see what's up with Mr. Grammy. Thanks, Mr. Hurt. During this time away from campus, it's really important to find a sense of connection. Our faith is a huge part of that. Take time each day to spend time with God, read his word, get in the Bible, think about the mass readings for the day, but something that would bring connection into your life. Think about those people in your life that need prayers for yourself, your family, for all those that are sick, but spending time with God will help build those connections. Now let's all join in and say our community prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, let my gifts change the world. Help us live the call, build the kingdom. Vene Sancte Spiritus. St. Joseph, our patron, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Hey Dons, as acceptance letters roll in from colleges that our seniors have applied to, choosing the right fit can be tricky, given that you can't visit the colleges directly in person at the moment. For the time being, virtual tours are a great way to experience Canvas from the comfort of your own home. Let's go see how it works. Hundreds of schools now offer virtual tours with options ranging from campus photos with options you can click through to having student guides that will show you facilities available on campus. Lots of colleges have virtual tours through their website. Uvisit.com is a well-known site that offers many of these virtual tours that are available to anyone for free. There's often a student talking while you were clicking through the tour like this one. Lynch is the city neighborhood with a small town feel where undergrads eat, live, and hang out. Parks, museums, farmers markets, and restaurants are all within a quick walk, including a pharmacy, the local grocery store, and bagel and coffee shops. Also, YouTubers like Katie Tracy make videos that give you a taste of what college life is like. We're inside the Wharton School building, which is Huntsman Hall. Now, of course, visiting campuses in person is ideal, but for the time being, it's important that we take advantage of any opportunity we can get. I hope you're all staying healthy and are on top of your assignments. I'll see you next week, Dons. Hey, Dons. As the coronavirus ramps up in the United States, I reached out to Cathedral Parent and Chief Administration Officer at UC San Diego Health to learn a little bit more about what's going on at the hospitals in San Diego. Hi Dons, my name is Lisa Murphy. I'm Chief Administrative Officer for Clinical Programs at UC San Diego Health. And I'm also mom to Ella who is a senior and Jack who is a freshman. Our hospitalization rate here is about 20% and that's roughly the same as the other counties in California. We're all not sure how accurate the hospitalization rate is though because unfortunately there has been a lack of testing kits available. I think what we're going to see now that the FDA has approved more um, tests for emergency purposes, that we're going to actually see that hospitalization rate probably drop because the more people we're testing, the majority of them, or vast majority of them, uh, are going to be going home. Yes, it's spreading the same way here as it's spreading every place else, and it's through droplets. 
So that means that when you sneeze or someone who's symptomatic sneezes or coughs, the droplets um, you know, got you know, projected out and they drop uh, onto the surfaces. It's uh, a heavy droplet. It's not an airborne disease. And so that's why it's really important to cover your cough and to maintain that social distancing of the six feet. For many hospitals across the country, are experiencing um, shortages. At UC San Diego Health, we're in the process of purchasing additional gowns, face shields, surgical masks, and N95 masks. Those are the ones that help um, protect you from airborne um, illnesses. Right now, we're doing uh, pretty well. We're doing a good job of actually managing our supplies thus far. The best thing that Cathedral can do for UC San Diego Health and for the community in general is just to follow the instructions of the Centers for Disease Control and the government. You know, use sanitizing gel throughout the day. After you use it about 10 times, you should go to the sink and wash your hands um, with soap and water for 20 seconds. Um, practice your social distancing. And if you'd like to make a donation to UC San Diego Health, we have a COVID-19 emergency response fund, and you can make um, a donation of equipment if, um, you know, your families uh, are, you know, in a business where you have um, the kind of equipment that our healthcare workers could use, or you can make a cash donation um, this is an extraordinary time in the history of our world and it's stressful for everyone. But we will get through this together and eventually there will be a vaccine and antiviral medications developed to fight COVID-19 in the same way that we fight influenza each year. Ms. Murphy also wants to remind you that while she's very knowledgeable about what's going on in San Diego Health right now, she is not a doctor. So if you're feeling any symptoms, please contact your family physician. And as always, make sure that you're checking the Center of Disease Control if you want to know more information. I hope you're using this time and you're being positive to reset and relax. Roll Dons. What's up Dons? I'm in my backyard right now and getting some fresh air. On Tuesday, we all received an email about the cancellation of finals. So I decided to talk to Dr. Calkins and get some information. What are the most important topics that we need to focus on? And we need to shift our thinking about, about schooling these next few weeks. And so that's really why we decided to cancel final exams. We think it's a good thing for students and teachers. This has no bearing on college admissions, on your transcripts or anything like that. Uh, some students have asked, well, how are our grades gonna be calculated? Your grades in Schoology will actually be your grades. So it'll be your cumulative semester average minus your final exam. So the final exam category uh, or column in Schoology will just remain blank. And the grade that you earn in Schoology will be the grade that you earn. So at the end of the school year, whatever your average is, that'll be your grade for this semester. Thank you, Dr. Calkins. Make sure to get some fresh air. Roll on. What is up, Don? Sears here. Now, I'm sure we're all bored of being stuck at home during this quarantine, so I decided to bring on Scotty Prunty from Los Locos to bring you guys some words of encouragement during this tough time. What's up, guys? This is Scotty Prunty from the class of 2020. Um, hope all is well. Uh, during quarantine, I've just been trying to be as productive as possible, uh, working out a lot, eating healthy, um, you know, just trying to get ready for basketball once things get back to normal. Um, on the side, I've I've memorized the records of the 60 seasons of the history of Cathedral football. So, so World Dons, uh, that's been fun. Uh, you know, I just hope everyone's staying positive and healthy and, and we're gonna get through this. And uh, once we do, the, the Dons community is gonna be stronger than it ever has been before. Yeah, I guarantee it. So remember to stay safe, keep those hands clean, and let's get through this together, Dons. See you guys next time on CCTV. What's up guys, it's Diwoo, back on your weekly Cathedral Catholic television program, and today I asked a couple of the varsity baseball players on how COVID-19 impacted their season. Let's go check it out. You're just crushed that you play your entire three seasons leading up to your senior year on varsity, trying to lead a team to a CIF championship, and you're just super sad. I mean, me and the seniors have been talking, we're just the senior class gets robbed of their senior year of high school baseball. And I mean, there's just really no words for it. But you understand that we shouldn't be playing right now. This virus is way bigger than baseball. It's way bigger than sports. All sports should and have been canceled for the right reasons. And that's basically how I feel about it. When the season got canceled, it was a hard time for a lot of us, especially 
the seniors who are unsure of where they're playing next year. And that's because we're not playing games anymore and schools aren't able to come watch us play. And uh, we're not allowed to go visit campuses and go talk to the coach. And I think that right now what we really need to focus on is just staying positive and uh, keeping our focus by working hard, but also trying to stay healthy at the same time because this virus is very serious and it's bigger than sports. And I know a lot of people are stressed right now, but the main thing we need to focus on is getting this virus under control. Hey guys, it's Xavier Watson here. I'm just here to check in with you guys and let you guys know how we stay in shape during the whole quarantine. So what I do is since I live in a complex, I run around for like a warm up and then I have some stuff I can lift with in my garage and I just do daily sit-ups, daily push-ups, whatever I can do to keep myself in shape. Um, I have been kind of lazy for a little bit, but always gotta get that work in because you never know, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, we can go back to school and we can, all the seniors can finish out their years. And I'm just praying for all you guys that you guys all stay safe and we all stay healthy and then maybe we can go back to school. Peace out. What's up guys, it's KJ here at Cathedral. We do trick shots to cope with our board games. Uh. <laughs> Roll the flips. Dude, it took a guy like... A quick reminder that we won't be having online schooling next Thursday or Friday due to our Easter break starting. This means that the broadcast will air next Wednesday, April 8th. We'll see you then, Dons.